Good afternoon, this is Brent Allen with uh, Merrill Apparel and Surf Tech Paddle Sports and we wanted to create an educational video on all the different types of boards and equipment that make up paddle boarding, stand up and prone. And with me today I've got Duke Brower, the events and team manager. And Duke, what we have right here in front of us is a traditional prone paddle board and why don't you tell people what this is all about and how people use these and where this kind of evolved into the SUV market. I will. Thanks Brent. Um, yeah, so what we have here is a traditional prone paddle board. Um, these were used by lifeguards way back in the 30s and 40s. Brent, the prone paddle board is really part of where the stand-up revolution, if you will, sort of took off. These guys are much narrower, okay? So it's much narrower, very, very unstable board. The bottom uh, has a slight curve to it as well. And then you'll notice with the edges, the edges of the board, there is no hard edge on a prone paddle board. So they're very, very unstable. You need to know how to prone paddle to get on these things. But to that effect, they're very fast. For prone paddling, um, there are different classes. There's a stock prone paddle class, that's a 12 foot board. Uh, there's a 14-foot prone paddle class. There's an unlimited class, which is unlimited. Uh, most of those are around 18 feet long, 16 to 18 feet. And then for more of the lifeguard specific, there's a 10-6 sprint paddle board, and that has features on it that are more specific to lifeguards with handles and knee wells and such. So prone paddle boarding is, in a sense, uh, one of the areas where the whole stand-up thing kind of began, and uh, and you know it's still going strong.